On your top story tonight, there is a social media rumor going around of a possible threat to tonight's Relay for Life event. After years of sexual abuse, a student finally came forward and brought the matter to school officials, prompting them to take action against the alleged perpetrator. Oh. With the puddle measuring seven inches deep in several areas, it makes it difficult for vehicles to pass through. The body was found lying along this access road at about 1120 this morning as USDA staff members were checking snake traps in the area. But it turns out the money it would take to fix this sewage problem had been in the Veterans Affairs budget. In fact, the governor's office transferred out $36,000 at the closeout of fiscal year 2014 to pay salaries and benefits. The vandals entered 10 eighth grade classrooms, five of the seventh grade classrooms, the nurse's office, principal's office, and this computer lab, breaking the glass to get inside. So we headed to Pika's Cafe for lunch to see what we can get for this farm to table Guam promotion. Danielle, what item can I order that has a lot of local produce? All right, so everything on our menu pretty much has um, some local produce on there. Come on, come on. Officers were unable to open the driver's side door due to damage from the collision, but in the video you see them pull the man from the passenger side of the vehicle only moments before the car is engulfed in flame. But the couple isn't stopping there. Their next step is to stop here at the District Court of Guam, where they plan to take action for their right to marry. And already on their first day, students were introduced to robotics, which will be an everyday part of their education. There's a lot to be discovered in the world's oceans, and a crew from the BBC is currently on Guam making discoveries of their own, while filming for a seven-part series called Ocean New Frontiers. BBC producer Miles Barton and cameraman Rod Clark have been here for about two weeks, focusing on the island's coastal areas. And what you've got is great crashing waves, particularly on one side of the island, and then on this side of the island, fortunately, it's a bit calmer, and we can get closer to the kind of life that comes out of the rock pools. So we're looking at crabs and uh, hermit crabs, things like that. It's the tiny critters in these coastal areas that come and go with the ocean tides that the filmmakers find most fascinating. I discovered these chitin things that I've never actually heard of. Basically, they're a big slug snail-like thing but without a shell and I was just sitting out there the other day um, at low tide and I suddenly noticed that the rocks were moving around me and I thought that's weird am I hallucinating or what and then I realized that actually they weren't rocks they looked like rocks but they were moving they're perfectly camouflaged. The chitons feed on the rocks during low tide and then go back into hiding when the tide comes back in a time lapse of their activity will be featured in the coastal episode of the series. Betsy Brown, PNC News.